Hi guys, this is Drew Brashler from Northridge Community Church. I got a question on the YouTube channel today um, from a guy. He's saying, I use floor monitors and I use compression on all the vocals. I don't want to use compression in the monitors because uh, the last time I used too much compression on the vocals and got some feedback through the monitors. Now, um, He's then saying that he wants to use compression on the different channels, but not on the floor wedges. Um, so one, one problem that you can come across when using a lot of compression is that you're uh, lowering the dynamic range, um, and you're, when you bring up uh, with the... Um, here, I'll show you guys. When you're bringing up the gain on a channel, um, you are raising everything, even including the noise floor. Um, so you're taking your dynamic range from being very l wide to a shorter area, and you can cause some feedback if you bring up the gain too much. Um, so I wanted to show you guys the different ways of sending off of a channel to a monitor, because I, I think there's a little bit of confusion around this um, with a lot of people. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the channel and then we're going to go home and we can see right here that we have dynamics at post right here so we can take this knob and we can flip it to pre and you can see right up here that the EQ and the dynamic section is switching around so dynamics pre is having the dynamic section before the EQ and dynamics post is having the dynamics after the EQ and we can see the signal flow by clicking sends and right down here, so we have our input, and then it goes into our preamp, um, and then goes through the polarity switch, and then we have our uh, low cut, and our gate, and then we have our pre-EQ tap right here, we have our EQ, and then our post-EQ tap right here, our dynamics, pre-fader, and then post-fader, and there's the fader right there. Now if we go back to home, and we switch our dynamics to pre, and then go back over to sends, we now have our signal flow has changed a little bit. So we have our input, our uh, preamp, uh, uh, low cut, uh, gate, and our pre-EQ dynamics, then the EQ section, then post-EQ, pre-fader, and post-fader. And so you can see that post-EQ and pre-fader are actually the same tap. So if you have your dynamics before the EQ, your post-EQ and pre-fader are the same tap. But in this guy's situation, he's not wanting to send the dynamics to the monitors. So we can take our dynamics and put it to post. And then if we go back to our, um, our sends page, we can see that the, uh, there's a tap right here after post EQ. And then our dynamics is after this tap. So um, say we have our uh, monitor 1 and 2 on our board is going to be our floor wedges. So all we would have to do is go select this go back to uh, configuration and we have our different selections that we can make here so we can go press pre fader um, which would be putting it in after the dynamics or we can cut press post EQ which now is going to be putting this before the dynamics but after the EQ now the one thing that you'll just want to make sure is whatever is going to be going into this monitor you will just want to have um, the dynamics be post EQ and that way however um, when you're pulling it off for the send for the monitor you are post EQ pre dynamics if you have any questions feel free to post below thank you